Welcome back to the fifth part in this bug fixes series and in this one we're going to carry on taking a look at the change password form that is in this social network application that we're building and in the last one we looked at how we can add the form validation itself so that if we get something uh, wrong with the form entry data press submit we get some text explaining exactly what is wrong with the data that we entered which is really helpful but when we enter data correctly and I'm going to try and enter some correct data here and submit that form. You can see that although we get redirected to a page which shows us our information, our profile page, we don't really get anything that says your password is changed, your password has been uh, saved successfully. So I think it would be better if we had some sort of way of propagating that message through to the page of which we're being redirected to. But the thing is, we don't want to put a static message in the template because what we could do is edit this profile template to say uh, just some plain text saying your password has been saved. But that means it would be there every single time, every time we want to look at this particular page. But that's not what we want. We only want it there when the, the action has actually taken place. In other words, when we have submitted that form itself. Uh, and for that, I'm going to use what's called the Django Messages Framework. It's a way of propagating something uh, to the user based on an action that they've taken, but it's generally used for things that are one-off instances. Your password has been saved, for example, because we only want that to appear once, and then it's going to be deleted unless we explicitly say otherwise. Uh, so to integrate that into the change password form itself, I'm going to go over to the view firstly, and here where we have uh, this comment. I'm just going to get rid of this comment because we don't really need that and uh, that was from the last video but after where the form is saved, I'm just going to hide this tree view for now so we have more room but after where the form is saved here I want to do messages dot success and this is a shortcut to be, be able to add a message uh, using the messaging framework that you should already have uh, integrated within your Django project uh, because it's set up by default assuming you use the start project uh, Django admin command from uh, Django 1.10 or possibly later. Uh, so for this uh, success method I want to pass in request and that's going to give Django the awareness of the context which we're uh, calling the message in and then I can also say a message. Now this message is going to be a string and I'm going to say your new password uh, has been saved. So we only want the user to see this of course when it actually has been saved which is why I'm putting it within this uh, form, form is valid if statement and after the form has been saved. So that's actually all we need to do to be able to save a message in the view itself and all we have to do now is go to the template which we want to show that message in and and display it how we want. One thing to note is I did also import the uh, messages so if you're wondering where that comes from it's uh, an import up here so I imported from django.contrib import messages. Now if I go to the template which I want to render uh, so remember it's not this views template that we're rendering it's the one after this redirect. Uh, so you can see here we've got return redirect and then it goes to accounts view profile. Now this view profile function is the view that I do want to propagate the message so I'm going to say storage is equal to messages dot get messages uh, request and I'm going to pass that storage through to the template as a message. I'm just going to say message uh, storage. So that gives us access to be able to present the message itself. So that gives us access to present the message itself within the template. Now if I go to templates accounts profile I want to present the message. So for now let's just say message just to see if we do get anything out at the moment. So I'm going to go back over to the form and I'm going to test it with hopefully 
uh, valid data and so see message is not defined uh, that's because it's plural here so I've got a typo there uh, if I go to accounts views and messages and messages and if we try that again that should resolve that error so now we've got a an object but that's not very useful what I want to do with this is in fact refine it in the template so to do this I'm just going to add a bit of templating I'm going to say div and this is going to be a bootstrap class uh, so remember container and a lot of things that we're using in our templates are all bootstrap classes I'm just going to set this to the full screen width which is uh, 12 and I'm going to close off that div tag as well uh, so inside that I want to see if I have any messages so instead of just printing out messages, I'm going to say if messages. And remember, you always have to end them in the templates as well. So I'm going to say end if. And then inside that, I'm going to do a for loop to iterate through the messages which we've stored. So in this case, it should only be one, but I'm going to iterate through because uh, we want to see all the messages if there are more than one. So for message in messages, and then remember I'm going to close this off as well so I'm going to say I'm going to say end for here and then what we can do is put logic in here in fact I don't need logic I just need to say div and I'm going to do a class of I'm going to come back to the class actually because that might be quite long I'm going to say role is equal to alert and I'm going to leave it at that for now with an empty class uh, because I'm not entirely sure what I want to put in that yet and I'm going to close the div off and I'm going to, in between there, I'm just going to say uh, center and then it's going to be uh, the message so message, this is of course the one in the for loop not the one that we were printing out earlier which is just of course the Django object which is not what we want to show the user so let's go ahead and test this, I'm going to do uh, some test data here. So now you can see the uh, message has been propagated, so it says your new password has been saved. 